Hey everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to deploy the new Microsoft Teams using PDQ Connect. Now you might be wondering, hey Brock, why, are we, why do we have to figure this out because we've already got a package in the package library for Microsoft Teams. And well, you're right, we do. So if I look up Teams here, we do have a, a Teams package here, but this is the old or classic Microsoft Teams. There is a new Microsoft Teams um, that Microsoft just released, okay? But it's a little bit different. They changed it, okay? So the problem is they made it a Microsoft Store app. Store apps tend to present their own set of challenges, okay? They're not installed in the same locations. They're usually a uh, per user install. They don't even use the same registry keys. So do I like them? No, but it's not really my job to like the new Microsoft Teams. It's my job to figure out how to manage it, okay? So that's what we're gonna figure out how to do today. We are gonna first build a package with the new Microsoft Teams on it, okay? First, you're gonna wanna go out and download the installer. We're gonna have a link down in the description below. Go click that link that should download the installer for you. Come back here and then we're gonna create our package. Okay, so we'll, we'll click create package right here. We'll name this new and improved, though I kind of doubt that, new and improved Microsoft Teams. Next, we're gonna add a PowerShell step, okay? Script step, PowerShell, and this PowerShell script, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. You're gonna wanna pause the video here and copy this script down. Okay, we're gonna copy that into our package. And that script is basically gonna look for any other instances of this Teams installation, remove it before you install the new one, okay? So now we're gonna add an install step and we're gonna go ahead and attach the installer. So I've already got mine downloaded into the downloads folder. I'll click on the EXE, I'll click open. And the one thing you wanna make sure before we finish this package, you're gonna put a dash P for the parameter. All right, now that we've got that, we'll hit save. And now we are good to deploy it. So we'll go ahead and select the package. We'll click deploy. Oh, didn't attach it automatically. That's all right, we'll go ahead and do uh, Teams. And we are gonna deploy this to Uncle Iroh. All right, so we've got our package. We've got our target, we'll hit deploy. Okay, so if you see here, we've already got it in progress. That is now being deployed to Iro. Okay, so I mean, really, that's all there is to it. Add the PowerShell script, add the installer, add the parameter, save the package, you're good to go. You can deploy this across your network, all right? Uh, we've also got all of this information uh, in a blog that kind of covers the whole process, but using PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory. So if you wanna check that out, uh, there's a link down below. Definitely feel free to give that a read. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you've got any questions, make sure to hit us up down in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more PDQ content. For PDQ, I'm Brock.